Now, question C is similar to question B, except for now we're converting from miles to kilometers. And so we're going to use the same ratio, which was kilometers, or wait, sorry, which was kilometers over miles. And what we want to do here is put 1 over, and it would be 0 decimal 62137. But this time, you're looking for the number of kilometers. We'll put in K for kilometers, and we're given that we have 26 miles because miles has to go on the bottom. So we cross multiply, so this comes out to be 0 decimal 62137K is equal to 1 times 26 is 26. And remember, to solve for K, we have to divide by whatever we're multiplying by. So we're going to divide both sides by 0 decimal 62137. Six two one three seven, and so K then is going to be twenty six divided by remember last time we multiplied by. Uh, 0.62137 to convert from kilometers to miles. Here we're dividing, and so that means that 26 uh, miles is approximately 42 kilometers. So this is approximately equal to 42 kilometers. So 26 miles is 42 kilometers. Now, if we're going to convert from meters to kilometers, a lot of students have difficulties with these types of conversions, and they have no problems with the fact that a thousand meters is one kilometer. Just erase this a little bit here. Okay, and so that's what we have up here. So one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. So if we're going to convert from meters to kilometers, we put 190 meters up top and kilometers on the bottom cross multiply a thousand K is equal to 1 times 190 is 190 and a lot of people if they have difficulties can use this method or you could do what a lot of other people do and that's just realize that you've got to divide the number of meters by a thousand in order to get the number of kilometers which is exactly what we get in the last step of the cross multiplication. So that means that the number of kilometers is 0.190. So 190 meters is um, 0.190 uh, kilometers.